What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Dallas Mavericks versus New Orleans Pelicans NBA matchup going down. Saturday, January 13th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one. Between the Dallas Mavericks and the New Orleans Pelicans, the, uh, the New Orleans Pelicans currently on the first half of their back-to-back -back at the time this video is being recorded, taking on the Denver Nuggets. Meanwhile, the Dallas Mavericks ready, waiting, and rested for this game after a 128-124 to win at home over the New York Knicks in their last matchup. And it was a big win for Dallas considering no Luka Doncic. And I was critical of the Dallas Mavericks, and I feel for good reason. I feel that this team was, I wanted to see more from them, see if they could hold their own without Luka. But thankfully, Kyrie Irving was in the fold, and he had a career high, or at least, uh, excuse me, a Dallas Mavericks career high. Uh, 44 points, 10 assists, 15 to 26 shooting. He had six threes, even got some help from Tim Hardaway Jr., who had 32 points with six threes as well. So, you know, the two-headed monster, I guess, for Dallas that night was Kyrie Irving and Tim Hardaway Jr. The takeaway for the Dallas Mavericks for me in that game, though, and I'll say it because I was on the New York Knicks in that game, was that the New York Knicks... Grab an, uh, a defensive rebound and don't give up four offensive boards on that fine, one of those final possessions in the last few minutes. We could be talking about a completely different result here for the Dallas Mavericks. As I feel like the New York Knicks, they, they, were, they had a big shift in momentum. I think they were down by 21, 22 points in that game and brought it all the way to one point in the fourth quarter before, like I said, that, uh, that you know, clinic and how to not rebound in the final minutes uh, came to be. But... Still, the Mavericks came out with the win, came out with some momentum. Luka will be missing this game as well, it looks like. I've already seen that he's been ruled out. But now you got a New Orleans Pelicans team coming to town. And the New Orleans Pelicans, you're always concerned with a guy with a team that's got team, uh, guys like you know Zion Williamson, uh, CJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram, guys who've dealt with injuries all season and who look to be playing on Friday night. Um, you always wonder if they're going to maybe take the second half of a back-to-back -back off, maybe just make sure that... You know, the Pelicans aren't pushing them too much. But here's my thing. Even if they play here, this is a tough back-to-back. -to -back. A, it's a back-to-back -back with travel. B, it's a back-to-back -back where you're going from Denver. And I'm not trying to cross sports here, but I think I've done it before when we're talking about teams that are going from Denver. The altitude messes with you. And it takes a while to readjust if you're not from Denver. And we've seen it in baseball where the Rockies you know, go out on the road after a homestand and their offense comes out sluggish for the first game or two because it takes a while to adjust. Same thing with teams that go into Denver that aren't from Denver. After you leave Denver, it takes a while for your bat to come back after, you know, playing in the altitude. I think it's the same thing for your body uh, when you're a team that's not playing in Denver. So I think the Pelicans have a, a tough back-to-back -back on hand here. And I think they're only laying two and a half is only because, you know, Luka's out. And I think it's still telling that the Mavericks are still favored in a spot like this. Um, I think the Mavericks right now just, they feel like the better team in this matchup, or they feel like the more likely team to cover in this matchup. Um, like I said, just with the tough travel spot for the Pels here. So give me the Dallas Mavericks in this one, laying the two and a half, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Why are your Pick Dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.